What's up everybody, we're back with another commitment graphic breakdown. It's the same guy as before. I wanted to give him two options to choose from. This was the option he didn't choose. You can let me know which one you like better. Like I said before, trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year, and then I'll probably make a way for y'all to access some of these PSDs. So smash that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get into it. Start out with the black background. I've got this picture of a sky and it's blown up and there's a gradient overlay on top of it. And I thought that picture blended in really well with this picture below it, which is a super cool picture of UCF Stadium with a rocket blasting off behind it. And that is a real picture. I did not Photoshop that. That's just a pretty sick photo that they got. So I found these palm tree PNGs on Pixabay, I believe, which is a free image website. And it's just the same palm tree, but um, if you go up here, click edit, transform, flip horizontally or vertically. Obviously this one's flipped horizontally, so it looks like a mirror. And then I added in an inner shadow, which is actually a light, so it's a colored dodge hitting it from the bottom set to negative nine degrees so it's coming up from below and hitting it on the underside and that is happening because these lights will be turned on here in a minute so did that to both of them added in just a gradient shadow going up because the stadium is kind of covering them gives them a little more depth then I changed their color so here's where I use colorize so if you click this little checkbox if you make a hue saturation layer click this little checkbox it makes it a specific color and I just slide the saturation all the way up choose the color I want just pretty much the UCF space blue that they've been using and it's as easy as that so I did the same thing with these made them a little bigger put the same inner shadow on them also put a gradient shadow and then change them to gold instead of blue then we have the 3d layer and I separated the inside from the outside they're two different layers inner shadow it's just to make the gold pop so it's just a white color dodge light coming from the bottom and that makes this gold glow that you see, which looks pretty good to me. Then I did an inner shadow on the green, which is a tan color dodge kind of glow coming in on the on the inside of the letters. And I changed the inside to that same tan look. Then I did the same thing with the uh, last name below it, just set them together to make it look like his first name is on top of his last name. And then I did the same thing with the trees again, just made them bigger put the inner shadow on them gradient shadow below and then made them blue like the ones in the back so now i just took the same sky layer from before and put a gradient on it and basically just like put it here in the middle behind the words and it just makes the sky pop a little bit more because it's a little bit dark could have left it and that would have been fine but i put that over top of some of the trees and things set that to screen at 50 percent so it kind of just blends everything in a little bit better i think and then i put this curves layer over top to make everything more contrast Contrasty, and I just pulled the bottom down which pulls the shadows down make them darker and then pulled the brightness up over here makes the whole thing a little more contrasty and then I added in lens flares on top of the lights and then just a uh, white glow I uh, just got the white paintbrush set it to super soft and then just clicked over top of it and all of those are set to normal kind of tweak the um, opacity and layer styles on those if you want to and then these are the shadows to go under his feet which I did a lot of work on those. I couldn't honestly get them to where I wanted them. In the end, I got them to a place where I thought they were good enough. So that's just all black brushes, just painting underneath him to make it look like he's sitting there or laying there. Put a curves layer on top of him just to make him a little bit darker in certain places, like underneath where the lights wouldn't be hitting him from this side and this side. And then these are inner shadow layers that I made into separate layers. So you go in here, click inner shadow, give that to him. Now he has an inner shadow. So if you right click that inner shadow and hit create layer it will pop up as a layer outside of him so that'll go away off of him and then it'll pop up like out here instead of being like a part of his layer so I did that two times and I do that to tweak the layers and sometimes paint them in where I wanted them these I ended up not putting layer masks layer masks on but I did tweak the sliders so if you hold alt and pull this slider down um, it takes it off of the darkest parts of him which makes it a little more, little bit more realistic so I did that to both of these layers and as you can see they still do affect it it's just not as harsh and then pulled the fill down on both of those as well and then I basically just did all the same stuff with this one did the same curves layer just pulling it down making it darker painting on like this side of him because he's 
facing away from the light so he'd be kind of darker um, in these areas. Uh, have those same inner shadows which are actually inner lights on set to linear dodge add. They're both set to linear dodge add I guess. Fill is just pulled down and then the sliders are pulled down as well. That's what it looks like when you don't pull it down and then as you pull it down it just kind of pulls it away from the shadows that are on it. Makes it a little bit more realistic. And then painted some shadows on his feet to make it look, make him look a little bit more blended to the ground. And then I added in the committed text. Again, it's just that cursive text that I've been using and put the same effects on it as before. So we have the gold with the inner shadow, inner shadow, one set to overlay on white, one set to multiply on dark. This one's coming up from the bottom left. This one's coming down from the top right. And then the gradient overlay which does the same thing over top of the whole text layer. So it's like, just like a shadow coming up from below and a light coming down from the top. You can see all this on this example box uh, in this window. It's like showing you what's happening to the layer that you're working on. So that's what gives it that 3D gold look. And then I just painted on, I just used a brush and sampled probably one of these colors back here. Painted more in. Uh, with a soft brush at the screen on top of the lights and this light source back here and then I painted in some more screen glow on his name up here just like in the bottom where the gold would be kind of shining the bottom of the letters and then I used a color look up set to Chris winter to kind of give it all one uniform look made a little more contrasty pulled down the the brightness a little bit and then i took all that and made it look more like the ucf uh sort of like bronze gold and then that light blue they've been using on their space uniform with the selective color and then i used the apply image technique where you stamp it so you hold shift control alt e and it stamps everything so you have one layer of everything below then you go up here to image apply image it's at the multiply 100 percent and it does that then you take that and you set it to screen and then you blur that screen layer so let me delete that so both of these have that effect on them but this one isn't set to screen so it's just darkening the areas that i've painted it in on the layer mask this one was set to screen and then you usually put a blur on it this one has a radial blur but i usually just do a regular gaussian blur and once you put the blur on it then you paint it in where you want it that's it that's what it looks like everywhere but we don't want that just painted it around the edges to give it kind of a cool glow effect on the edges put the logo up top and that's it for that one so don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video comment and tell me which psds you want access to in the future and i'll be making a way to do that hopefully in the next few months when we get to a thousand subscribers thanks for watching have a good one